Hi, good evening friends. Tonight I plan to share with you two high bones that I wrote. A high bone is a combination of a poetic prose and a haiku. A haiku, as you know, is the Japanese form for a three-line poem which is composed of um, five syllables for the first line, seven syllables for the second, and five syllables for the third, capturing images and uh, giving an insight in the end. Sometimes it's just pure description. For tonight, I'd like to share with you about two high bonds. I hope you enjoy listening. Here's the first one. We dance the foxtrot. I like to dance. I know quite well how to dance my favorites. Samba, salsa, reggae, boogie, cha-cha. Foxtrot, I like best to dance with my husband. But which dance I yet have to perfect. My husband desires to learn the dance himself even as he is a late bloomer as regards dancing, immersed as he has been into poetry for much of his life. I have been dancing for many years and got hooked on poetry, haiku especially, only in the last three years or so, largely because of my spouse who would always prod me to write poetry while I was healing from a low back pain. Our situation is described in my husband's poetry book. If you have come across the book, the poet learns to dance and the dancer learns to write a poem. And so we begin to dance. We mind the balance, remembering at first him with his rhyming lines and myself with my nimble feet as old friends say, it seems to work with true effort, he with a foxtrot and I with a haiku. Here's the haiku. We dance the foxtrot, slow, slow, quick, quick, let it go. The seas ebb and flow. The second high bone. I have entitled it The Profane and the Sacred. My readings about the haiku introduced me to Kigo, K I G O, or seasoned seasonal reference, which a haiku must have. Likewise, I learned that a haiku celebrates nature and the little moments in life that it is best to have an image and to make the lines integral to the image. Exploring these options, I feel I could also include the profane, the usual unmentionables. Here goes. The smell of latrines, the scent of lemon in them. Ah, I am purified. Yet I am more purified writing about spiritual matters. So this is the second haiku on the sacred. The tree is bending, whose arc is almost half moon. Is God in the wind? Those are my two high bones. Thank you for listening. Good night. God bless you.